This Discover Mirrorless vlog post is brought to you by the Me Photo brand of travel tripods. Hey guys, Steven out here in Los Angeles for discovermirrorless.com. Now I wanted to share my point of view on a topic that a few of my fellow hybrid heroes have been talking about recently. I know my good buddy Will Crockett put out a vlog on horizontal photographs and how they're moving in and vertical moving out and how the industry is changing. He makes some really great valid points. For the most part I agree, but I still love shooting vertical. I shoot a lot of vertical portraits and if you go to my portfolio, you're going to see a lot of them. But I think what's going on is because we're hybrid photographers, we're shooting more video. We're seeing the images in that 16 by 9 wide format. So our brains are, are seeing our pictures that way too. It also makes it a lot easier when you're creating these hybrid products. But it does make me ask the question, why can't we shoot vertical? Why can't we make a vertical hybrid product? I know I like to hold my phone in vertical mode. Same with my tablet. But, uh, you know, watching a video like that, not so good. So, I think there's a stigma out there about shooting vertical video. And it has to do with people, you know, forgetting to turn their phone sideways when they push the record button on their movie camera. But, uh, I think if the subject fits very well for a portrait, then it can fit really well for a hybrid e-product, too. And if you can use it to make a, an e-card, you can send it through the phones and the tablets, and it'll actually work out really well. So I have been experimenting with this, and I wanted to show you a little step-by-step -step process and how I go by making a uh, hybrid e-product in the vertical style, and uh, how I go by getting it to the phone and all that kind of stuff. So let's take it over to the computer, and we'll check it out. Alright, so I'm going to jump over here into my Lightroom and look at the photos that I took when my friend Yami was visiting from out of state. Um, we don't see her very often, but she came at last minute for Christmas, and uh, it was really cool. And uh, she hadn't seen my daughter Savannah in, uh, since August, so it had been quite a few months, and you know, it's a lot of time for babies. So I'm going to go ahead and select a few of these photos, and I'm going to drag them on over to the new stuff bin, like I've showed you in some of my other vlogs. And voila, it's over there in Premiere Pro. And I will be using Premiere Pro to edit this piece. Uh, it's something I'm very comfortable in, but you could easily use the Pro Show software and uh, create this vertical e-product. And it would work really well. I'm gonna show you in a few minutes another piece of software that I would use to flip this so it can be seen properly for the given device. Okay, now here's one of the things that I like to do with these type of things sometimes. And I've created a custom image in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my, uh, my Photoshop and show you just how you create a custom border image. It's gonna be 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p resolution. And we're gonna go ahead and make that at 72 pixels per inch. Okay, now I'm gonna do a transparent background and go ahead and press OK. Now this is the same size as the widescreen uh, standard video. So this will work really well. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start a new layer because I don't like editing on layer one. And I'm gonna go over to here and I'm gonna select the gradient tool. I've already selected my color, but I'm, I've, I've picked this one here where it's, uh, it's, it's uh, part transparent and part color. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the color that I want for this. So let's pick the right one. I'm gonna pick a nice uh, pink color. You know, something that's Christmassy and girly at the same time, because this is, this is for girls. So, you know, we're gonna go ahead and pick something like that. Now I'm gonna take it right from the middle here, drag it over to the side, and voila. Not too big on that framing, so. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so it's gonna give me something to work with. Now I'm going to open up another new layer and I'm going to go to my brush tool. And I have these snowflake brushes that I've downloaded off the uh, internet for free. Uh, just go ahead and Google it and you can find some too. 
They're really easy to install and they work really well. So I'm gonna pick a snowflake that I like, really, really traditional one. Probably, well, let's go with this. Get it on there and I'm gonna change the size and I'm gonna just kind of go over and make this little snowflake look. Do, you know, small ones, big ones, just to give it a little different. I'm using the bracket signs to zoom in and out. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and I'm gonna call it uh, my friend Yami. That's her name. Yami eProduct. And um, I'm gonna save it in my movie folder. Yami eProduct Friend. And we'll save it as Photoshop, and then I'm gonna come over back over here, and I'm gonna save it as a PNG, which is what I normally use in uh, Premiere Pro when I'm editing, because the PNG holds a transparent layer underneath, so anything that is transparent will be transparent, unlike a JPEG, which, uh, which collapses everything down, and it mixes it into one, and there is no more transparency. So PNG is always the way to go when you're doing these uh, editing pieces. So I'm going to go back to Premiere Pro and I'm going to select uh, import and find the image that I got. So here it is, Yami eProduct Frame. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in there. I'm going to take it and drop it in right there. And uh, as you can see, it creates this nice little frame around it. So I may go ahead, it's a little bright for my tasting, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just using the opacity here, I'm gonna dim it down a little bit. Now this image, I'm not too big on the, that framing right there, so I'm gonna go to the EFX control, go to scale, and I'm gonna bring it up so it fills the screen. All right. So I created this one already. Of course, you need to play around with them and, and find the one that works for you. And, uh, I guarantee you'll make something really cool. Now because we're making a vertical piece, we need to add in some vertical text. I'm gonna go ahead and make a default still, and it's gonna call it called Merry Christmas. Okay, so we wanna be able to write vertically, which isn't the easiest thing to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and make a type layer, and I'm gonna say, Yami and Savannah, that's their names, so choose a nice font that works well. And then I'm gonna go up to this rotation tool and I'm gonna grab the corners and I'm gonna rotate it sideways. It's pretty easy. So go ahead and we'll, we'll throw that in there and that's gonna be the new title for this piece. And um, we'll have it pop up there. It's Christmas, so I'm gonna make it a nice red color. Okay. All right, so now we'll go ahead and just drop it right in there. All right, so now that I've added some final touches onto this, I'm gonna go ahead and export it like I normally would any other video. We're gonna go ahead and click export media. Okay, so because I know that we're not gonna be putting out in 1080p, we need to send to a smartphone or a tablet, which is what this product is made for. So I'm gonna go ahead and select H.264 as my format, and I'm gonna select a different preset. And we'll go ahead and we'll make an Android phone 360p widescreen. 2997. Okay, we're gonna select use previews and it's gonna be about four megabytes. So it's still a little on the large side, but I think it will work. Let's go to uh, this and select vertical e product demo. And go ahead and start exporting it. 
Okay, so it's done exporting. Now for the next and final step, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a program that I have used for you know a few years now, and it's a real versatile uh, application to have. It's also free, so I definitely recommend it. It's called MPEG Stream Clip. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Now I'm gonna open up <coughs> the files that I was working on. So I put them in movie and it's going to be vertically product demo 2. Go ahead and open that up and I'm going to show you how you can flip this real easily so it can be seen as a vertical image. As you can see, it's sideways right now. But if I go up here to edit, rotate video, and I'm going to do a counterclockwise. Okay, now we just come over here and We'd say save as, same name. I'm just gonna call it B. We'll say demo two flipped. And push save. Now it's gonna save it. Now I can go back over here and I can open up that, that uh, video and it'll be good. Let's check it out. Go ahead and open up in uh, quick time. And there it is. Now because that file is pretty small, it's only five megabytes, I'm gonna go ahead and send this over through email. And I'm gonna I'm gonna send it on over to my iPad. Alright, so now that we're all finished up with the vertical hybrid e product, I've gone ahead and sent it over to the iPad. Let's check it out. <laughs> All right, so there it is. I think that's really neat, really cool, and I'd love to have that for myself. I know my friend Yami, she loved it, she keeps it on her Android phone, and it works really well as an e-card like that. Um, so, you know, it may not work for every situation, but I think if the situation merits it, vertical hybrid e-product can work really well. So I hope this helped you out, give you a little food for thought, and maybe you guys can come up with some really neat things too. I gotta get going now, but remember, keep it simple, and get out there and shoot. Until next time, see you around. This Discover Mirrorless vlog post is brought to you by the MePhoto brand of travel tripods.